quick revision video on calibration curves. So we'll start with the essentials. We use them in gas chromatography or GC for short. So in a gas chromatogram the area under a peak gives the relative amount of that substance in the mixture or the percentage. It doesn't give the exact concentration. That's what we use the calibration curve for. The greater the relative amount of a substance in the mixture, the greater the area under the peak compared to the others. So using this gas chromatogram as an example, you can see there are five peaks. So that means there are five components in the mixture. In terms of percentage component in the mixture, we um, take the area under one of the peaks and divide that by the total area of all the peaks to get the percentage of that component. So the calibration curve is used to determine the concentration of the substances analysed by gas chromatography. So we'll look at how to do the calibration curve now. So the procedure, we prepare standard solutions or so solutions of known concentration of the compound under investigation. So for example, let's say component 4, we wanted to know the exact concentration of this in the mixture. So we'd prepare those standard solutions. We'd obtain a gas chromatogram for each standard solution and measure the area under the curve. We'd plot the calibration curve, so that's peak area against concentration. And that would look something like that. And then we'd compare the area under the curve for the compound in our gas chromatogram with the calibration curve. So for example, if the peak area of our sample was 45 millimeters squared, we'd literally just run a line along till it hits the calibration curve. And then we'd simply just read down onto the x-axis and get the concentration. So this one looks like it's 0.375 moles per decimeter cubed.